Hey, what's up, DLR? It's Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking dishwashers today. In the event that you hear a grinding noise as the dishwasher is running through its cycle, we're going to talk about the most common causes. Let's take a look. All right, DLR is in the kitchen now. There is our Whirlpool dishwasher. And again, the common causes that could lead to grinding noises. Let's go ahead and open up the dishwasher. And on the lower rack, if you pull that out, Extending up and out of that to spray water during the cycle is your actual spray tower. And I grabbed some pliers and I'm going to carefully lift this up. And this is normal. That is supposed to rise to help direct the water during the spray cycle. And I'll go ahead and lower that down, set the pliers down, grab my Buckmark flashlight here give you more light and inside here all the water sprays out of these holes and in the event that that is loose what you want to do is carefully tighten this bottom shaft portion here and in most cases righty tighty lefty loosey and ours is extremely tight so that's good and it creates a seal to alleviate water from sneaking through so common cause number one verify that that is properly secured and it does have a little play that is supposed to be like that that is normal give it a couple spins and if you hear aggressive grinding just on simple spins like this, that's your issue. You'll need to replace that spray tower. And those are very friendly to replace as well as a very friendly price. So again, common cause number one, what we'll do is slide the basket back in and raise this up. We're actually going to go down below because we've got a few screws, one on the far left and one on the far right over here. Go ahead and remove those. I'll start with the far left. It definitely helps having a magnetic bit onto the right side. From here, you can actually shift it to one side, get your finger down below and shift it out of this entire bottom portion here. Go ahead and set that plate aside. In addition, you've got two more screws in between the slot of the bottom portion of your door and this upper plate here. One Phillips screw on the far left and far right. Go ahead and remove those. Over to the right side, and I recommend having one hand holding it and the other hand unscrewing the screw. After removing both those screws, carefully shift this cover panel out and set it aside. And inside here are several parts. And I'll grab my flashlight once again, light everything up down below. And as you work through this project, it's a good time to vacuum down here. However, let's talk about this very first part. This is your pump motor. And over time, unfortunately, the internal bearings wear out and they can make some loud buzzing and grinding noises. Very unpleasant if you do not replace that motor in a timely manner. Because the longer you let that go and deteriorate, the louder the grinding and buzzing is going to be. So that is an additional common cause. An additional common cause on top of that is the internal impact inside your actual motor housing back here. Let me move the light so you can actually see how the pump motor connects to the pump housing and again inside there is a impeller and unfortunately that can fail or become loose and in the event that it becomes loose that will make some serious grinding and buzzing noises as you are running a cycle. What a lot of people do is they will actually remove the pump motor and pump housing and inspect the internal impeller and in the event that that looks good and it is spinning freely without making any noises or rubbing against any of the sidewall of the housing they then go on to replacing the motor however I will say most companies that sell the pump motor actually sell the housing connected to the pump motor that already has a brand new impeller installed inside it because that impeller again is inside the housing and in between the pump and the housing so in our opinion it's kind of nice replacing the entire pump and housing at once and purchasing them together all you'll do is is remove this and put the new one in and in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to do that definitely check out the link scrolling above next common cause let's go all the way back to our drain hose right here and feeding off the actual housing that we just talked to is a hose and that loops around and goes through this back part here and then feeds the water through that and out of your drain hose and exits your entire dishwasher system The grinding noise inside this part will be very quiet. Nowhere near the grinding of a motor bearing going out. So pay attention to that as well. And let's shift over to our last part here. This is your water inlet valve. This is where all the water enters your entire system. And inside that part is a diaphragm or flap that is constantly opening and closing. And in the event that that is worn out, it will definitely make a buzzing noise or grinding noise as water enters the system at that point. If that's the case and you have determined that is where the sound is coming from, definitely replace this water inlet valve. And for your 
your convenience, scrolling above is a step-by-step -step video on how to replace that part. And one more thing, back to that part right there that I was just talking about. What I want to do is come back up top, open up the dishwasher. And all the water that drains out goes through this back screen here and through that part we just talked about. So it's very possible that food or any other particles or debris have gotten through that screen and are inside that part, causing it to create a buzzing or grinding sound. We'll go ahead and close this. And again, DIYers, those are the most common causes that could lead to a buzzing, grinding, or humming sound inside your dishwasher, or in most cases, at the very bottom of your dishwasher. So with all that said, here's what I recommend. And I recommend doing this when there are no kids or animals around. Run a cycle with the cover panels off. And as it is running, come down below and just listen to where the grinding is most likely coming from. If it is coming from this motor, it will be extremely noticeable. And if it is not coming from that motor, you will know. It will definitely be coming from somewhere else. So hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.